Hi everybody, Emiko here. Welcome back. Today I want to take you on a tour of the top panel of NUX's NPK20 digital piano. Let's get started. So the first button that we have here is our power on and off button. Next we have a very smooth master volume control and trust me when I say it is very smooth. After that we've got four buttons, dual split, transpose, function, and balance and the dual split and transpose buttons double as octave up and down. Next we have the EQ section. Now this is an onboard three band EQ that actually turns into a nine band EQ, but that explanation will come in another video. One thing that I do wanna draw your attention to right here is if you take a look over here at the control screen, as I start adjusting my low, my mids, and my highs, I'm just sort of picking things at random here, you see that it automatically picks up the adjustments in real time. There's no need to pre-assign any parameters or regions. It automatically translates onto the control screen. So this next section here, you have your reverb, delay, chorus, and compressor buttons, all of which can be applied to whatever sound or sounds that you choose out of the 271 built-in sounds on the new X NPK 20 digital piano. Next, you've got the touch sensitivity button, which I tell you is incredibly effective because with it, it sounds like this. And without it, it sounds like this. My personal preference is with. After that, you have your metronome button, which is great for anybody that's a student or wanting to practice their skills um, or just play along to something. Now, I want to draw your attention back to the control screen because to the right of that, you have your data selector buttons. Now, these buttons work going up and down, side to side. If you go side to side, you jump into different sound groups, so piano, electric piano, organ, orchestral, lead, pad, and other. Now, if you go up and down, within those categories, you can get to sort of the subgrouped sounds, and there are a lot of them. Again, 271 onboard sounds to choose from, and you can absolutely see that you can spend a lot of time going down the rabbit hole here. Next to your data selector, you have the confirm button. After that, you have your demo button, play stop, record, and Bluetooth. Your demo button selections will show up in your control screen, and those are a list of preloaded songs that you can listen to, practice, or play along with. Play and stop obviously plays or stops your selection. Record is great because you can actually record on the NPK20. So if you have song ideas, if you're practicing, this is a great way for you to document your progress in rehearsal, practice, songwriting, whatever. Next to the record button, you've got the Bluetooth button, which is used in combination with Bluetooth audio. So then in this section of the control panel, I'll go from top buttons to bottom. We have preset. These are your shortcuts to piano, electric piano, organ, orchestral, lead, pad, and other, just like you saw on your control screen that you could scroll through with your data selector. Um, one thing that I do want to point out here is that if you were to push two buttons simultaneously, you are able to stack the sounds. Just as a quick example. Then underneath this, you have style, which brings up a beat bank single malt, sync start, A and B controls, auto chord, and your in end button. Over here, we have the voice volume and voice reverb knobs respectively. And these are used to control when you have your vocal mic plugged into the NPK20, making this an on the go singer songwriter solution. Well, I think that just about covers everything. If you have any questions or you want to share your own new X experience with us, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below wherever you're watching this. Make sure to follow and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like with a big old thumbs up and for goodness sakes, 
go follow Newex on social media. Until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.